Hey everybody, how's it going today? All right, today I've got another video of a that I'm going to do of a microphone that was sent to me from Mike. Anyways, it's the Averson AM25 USB microphone. It's a kit. So what we're going to do is we're going to I just keep smashing my mic up. So I'm, I'm okay. It's all right. So anyway. <laughs> Anyways, it comes with it comes with basically it's it's one USB microphone. It comes with a boom arm, a U-shaped mount to hold it. It comes with a uh, one windshield, one pop filter, obviously a USB cable and a user manual. So what we're going to do is an unboxing on this. I'm going to test it against probably the microphone built onto the camera and. I think we'll have time to probably do something maybe up against another microphone uh, on another USB microphone to see how it goes. So on that note, Avison, I like to thank them for sending this over to me to do a review. I also like to add that I'm not being paid for this review, but I did receive the mic from them. And uh, I really dig this stuff, man. You know, I just dig doing this stuff. I did getting stuff given to me. It's like Christmas all over again. Well, it's almost Christmas. Anyways, we'll be back in a minute to review this. Okay, I just wanted to hop back in real fast. So here we, here we have it. it I, I gotta say, I am very impressed with this. This is, I, I like the, um, it almost feels like it has a rubber coating on it. But it's metal. It is all metal. It has a nice U-shaped clamp holder. This just does fit over there with no problem. It's pretty much your standard size wind. A lot of people would call it a wind, but it can be. It can act as a as a uh, pop filter as well. But I did want to point out again. Yes, it is about five or six feet of cable. This little screw that came with it is obviously a stop screw. Okay, so once you once you put it on the mount, you can lock it into place, and everything's here. So we're gonna get it set, and we'll be right back. Okay, so here we have it. We're back. As you can see, it's all set up. We have the boom arm. There's only a couple of things that I rather prefer myself when it comes to any type of mounting system. Is this is fine for something that's lighter, but Myself, I, I, I like a clamp where the, the, the rod sets over the table so the pressure's right down on that part. But this is absolutely fine. This is just my personal preference as far as things go. And one other thing is where the C goes in, which I really admire it having a, a um, USB-C going into it, it that's already a, a big huge plus but it's a little bit long and it hits up against the U now I don't know if the fix would be making this U a little longer or making a C, a C plug that is either in a L shape if they have them or something just a little bit shorter it's kind of a, it's a, it's definitely the advantage of having a longer plug on it it's easier to hold but as you can see as you can see the C it hits there but not the end of the world anyways the next sound that you're going to hear is going to be me using the speaker just on the telephone okay do I have your attention now I hope so. Okay, this is um, me speaking to you from about, I'm speaking to you from away from the mic, and now I'm going to speak directly to the mic on the camera. Um, you can pretty much tell the difference between a standard built-in microphone versus, and this is coming off of a iPhone 13 Pro. Um, so this is basically just going to give you an idea on what the, the stock microphone would sound like versus what we're going to have. Now, I'm going to be using a headset 
because I am not going to be able to hear off the bat what the volume is set at, how it works. So, in as far as testing the mute on this microphone. So we'll be back and we'll run a quick test on that and pretty much wrap this video up. Okay, so here we are, we're back. Um, I'm sure you're gonna be able to tell quite a difference. I ran a, I ran a small test. I wanted to make sure everything on this mic worked correctly before I went on to the video, onto this part anyways. The volume control on it works really good. I've got it set up right now at about 25-30% from 10 to 12 inches away from the microphone. It has a, it has a, a very good, strong, it's, it, it's, it sounds good. It sound, I was really surprised when I listened to it through the headset, which I'm not going to do now. I'm going to bore you with all those little details. But it, it, it did. It had good, solid, crisp sound to it without much for any type of adjustments on it. Um, as you can see. I do really, really like the U shape to this. One of the smaller things that I think probably would have, this, this is kind of a little issue is the wire plug, the USB-C plug that goes into the microphone. This problem could be solved easy enough one of two ways. Um, one, by putting the C on the back side with the headset plug but that's kind of getting away from the whole idea of having this set up. I would think that this U holder if it was about I would say maybe less than a half an inch longer in height you would be able to swing the mic both ways. All in all the quality the build quality, I give it a 10 all day long. It's outstanding. The sound quality on it, without any type of filtering, any messing around with the gain, uh, going in and putting, applying any filters to soften it up, change the pitches, I, it, it, it sounds great just right out of the box. I'm very impressed with this. I would definitely recommend it. If you're interested in it, go on over to Amazon and click on the link below. It cost around $60. Can't go wrong for having the whole kit. And I didn't even use the pop filter because we've got something on the front of it already. It has a screw that comes with it that you can tighten up and put in an area where you can stop so you can adjust the mic to be in a spot where you want it. That's a plus. The springs on this are a little light for a mic that's as heavy as this. I'm not saying this mic is like crazy heavy. But on the boom arm, you definitely need to tighten these things up so it stays in place. These are small little things I'm just pointing out. For $60, people, it's a bargain. Everything you're getting with this. Microphone with a volume control on it, with a mute button, with a USB-C cable, big plus. Again, I am so glad that companies are going over to using that. It comes with the, the, the windshield, the wind protector, the wind cover, I've heard a thousand different names, and a pop filter with a 3.5 jack in the back of it so you can put a headset on and be able to control what you're listening to. I mean, that stuff that comes with professional grade microphones. So, on that note, I just want to say thanks. Avison, you came through. You came through with a good quality product. The AM-25 USB microphone. It can be used for podcasting, streaming, gaming, um, whatever you want it to be used for. It's a plug-and-play-and-go set up again click that link below and if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up if you're new to the channel subscribe if you're already a subscriber welcome back all right everyone i just want to say this was a nice little uh, review that i did i'm pretty happy with the product 
I'm very happy, actually, with the product. And um, I just want to wish everybody a safe and happy holiday. Go out and buy all your family member microphones. No kidding aside. Yeah, I got to give this one a solid. No, pro no problem whatsoever. Good mic. All right, again, everybody. I'm going to have to cut out now. Got to edit this video up a little bit. We're going to get it out onto that YouTube channel. And I hope someone, if you, if I hope someone goes out and buys it. Okay, everyone, take it easy. Peace out.